diver. We've talked about the hand that pushes the head down, the massive body of water, the gaze of the deep, silent sea, the faraway ocean floor that resolutely spouts darkness wherever it casts its gaze. The ocean was neither its floor nor the three dimensions of water, but merely the earth's ceiling. Like a hand extended to change a light bulb, we lined our bodies abreast and went to find the light said to be the darkest. I opened my mouth wide and kissed the still remaining atmosphere. Humans forget how to speak with only a kiss. Abandon your words and dive into the mouth's deep ocean. That's either the ceiling of a person or the floor of an afternoon. The lining of the luminous overcoat worn by the earth. About the space where the air bubbles inside the body rapidly expand, where interior and exterior invade each other about the allied forces of color and pressure that a human body must endure. We've talked about them before. We rise to an unfamiliar surface. That was us turning over the ocean, cultivated long inside our bodies and offering it to each other.